digital note takers are in constant pursuit of the best note taking app available. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I bring you Good Notes 5, a robust, sleek app designed to cater to all your note taking needs. So, whether it is your first 100th time using Good Notes 5, let me show you how to make the best use of this productivity powerhouse. <music> For this GoodNotes 5 walkthrough tutorial, I've re-downloaded GoodNotes 5, which is the free limited version only allowing you to create free notebooks. However, if you navigate up to the settings cogwheel and select unlock all features, you can access all of GoodNotes 5's features for a one-off purchase of £6.99. For reference, Notability charges £10.49 a year for their Plus subscription. Also, in the settings tab, you can adjust other aspects such as your default language, iCloud backup, and your handwriting posture. The default handwriting posture is the bottom right one, although I personally prefer to have my palm rest at an angle, so select the choice just above, and if you are left-handed, be sure to select one of the postures on the left-hand side which best fits you. Also using the cogwheel, you can select your notebook templates. With the ability to customize paper style, size, and color, pick a combination that fits your needs. But also note you can individually customize your notebook features for each notebook you create. Now that you have set up your settings correctly, it is, it is time to select new and a list of options will appear. Import is great for importing PDFs such as pre-made lecture slides into GoodNotes 5. Scan allows you to take a picture of a physical piece of paper with information on it and have that information be digitalized and edited in app. Camera and image allow you to import pictures and quick note is if you want to do an unfiled note. Folders and notebooks are without a doubt the two most popular choices though. Notebooks are what you can write your notes in, as you could have probably guessed. Folders allow you to group many notebooks into one folder. This is absolutely perfect if you are a student studying multiple modules at once, or someone at work who has multiple projects to do at once that need to be differentiated and organized. Upon entering the notebook, you are met with a blank canvas and two ribbons of commands. The top ribbon mostly controls the whole notebook rather than the actual note taking components, so will be discussed slightly later on in the video. The greyed out ribbon underneath contains all the necessary tools and commands to ensure your Apple Pencil can draw, write, highlight and erase amongst a host of other features. The pen feature offers three options, Fountain, ballpoint and brush. Fountain and brush pen have varying line outputs depending on how hard you press down the stylus as opposed to the ballpoint pen which is always constant. Ensure in the draw and hold component that draw and hold is toggled on. This feature enables you to draw perfect shapes. All you must do is have a decent enough attempt and then keep your stylus pressed on the paper and it should automatically transform your wonky shape into a perfect version. Next we have the eraser. Also with three features, precision, standard, and stroke. Precision deletes very little, with standard deleting slightly more. But without a doubt, stroke is a lifesaver by allowing you to mass erase. One tap anywhere on a line will delete the whole line at once. You can also toggle whether to delete the highlighted parts only. The highlighter feature has much less to wrap your head around. It does exactly what it says on the tin. The unique shape feature equally is pretty self-explanatory, allowing you to draw all kinds of shapes for good notes. However, the feature next door, the lasso, is an absolute game changer. It allows you to manually select and group multiple components of your notebook to move around at once. If you tap your stylus in the middle of the lasso, you have an array of options on what to do, such as taking a screenshot, changing the color, resizing, and of course, copying and deleting. The star feature allows you to import any elements into your document. These can be features such as sticky notes and mind maps. The feature to the right allows you to import images from your camera roll. And beside that, you can insert text boxes to type. The final feature is a laser, primarily used in presentations to direct the audience where to look with there being two options dependent on preference. <laughs> In terms of taking notes, that was a breakdown of all the features GoodNotes 5 has to offer. Now we can take the time to discuss the features across the top blue ribbon that allow you to edit the full document. Starting from right to left, the three dots brings up a list of options, including page management. And if you click document editing, you have a host of other options, including moving your tool position from top to bottom. Personally, that makes me want to vomit, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. At the bottom is an extremely unique and exciting feature for GoodNotes 5, the flashcard feature. 
as long as your document template is altered for flashcards, you can choose to do some digital flashcard revision on demand. By clicking the button next door, you can hide and show the ribbon underneath. Personally, I'm not sure when you would need to do that, but it's there. The two arrows allow you to undo and redo your most recent action. Moving on to the options on the left hand side. The box with an arrow allows you to export your document as well as sharing it to other people. The ribbon allows you to bookmark a page for easy access. You can search terms using the magnifying glass and the window feature allows you to view multiple pages of your notebook at once for easy navigation. Finally, the arrow on the far left backs you out of GoodNotes 5 and onto the homepage. <laughs> Overall, if you seek an organized, smart, and versatile app, look no further than GoodNotes 5. And with an overall rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars, with 25,000 reviews on the App Store, you can see how highly regarded GoodNotes 5 is. But just before you proceed, it is highly advisable you check out GoodNotes' 5 number one competitor, Notability, of which I did a tutorial right here. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more productivity app reviews and tutorials amongst a host of other entertaining videos, make sure you subscribe down below and let me know you did so in the comment section. I've been Dennis and I hope to see you lot in the next video.